Welcome all to the Weekly Outlook. Boone here from Elliott Wave Pro. Getting straight into the Weekly Outlook, looking at the DXY on the daily. Two scenarios here, like I've said. You know, this is a, either the end of the Wave C here, or we get a larger correction, something possibly like this as an A, B, C. We're really going down onto the lower time frames to look for that direction, like I've been mentioning for quite some time now. Um, on the H4, we're looking at this uh, like W, X, Y. I'm looking for that X2, and then I'll be looking for that wave Z up. It's still a bit of a time factor here, over here in this X2. So really just sitting on the sideline waiting for a, a correction in here on the H4 before we can trade it. Um, in here, we may get three up. Like we may get like one, two, three, just breaking that top, and then we get an A, B, C, giving us a running or expanding flat. What well, may even turn uh, just a regular flat if this top isn't broken. So just waiting for that time factor. Other than that, you're pretty much just scalping on the lower time frames. Hey, you on the daily? I've left these arrows on here. So we never got this C up, um, you know, it never went. Now it's looking like an A, a B, and we get a C down. So again, we're just looking at the lower time frames to get our direction. We got like one, two, three up in here, an A, A, B, C. Then we get that A, B, C in here. So I am looking for more upside here. Um, whether this just turns into a correction and another one down or goes from here uh, is anyone's guess. But I'm looking for upside. H1, we got bullish divergence. Um, we're getting a little flag in here. You get a little buy set up in here. You can look for a buy. Ideally, uh, ideally, this would have went and broke this top, nice and impulsive, went and broke in that top, and then give us a correction, and then we could look for at least an ABC up. I should just check the lower time frames. Yes, you will have to be careful, as I was expected. Um, we do have a bear hidden in here bearish hidden divergence between these two tops so if you are buying you know um get it to break even at the break of this top because it may just come up here break this top and then fall over with that bear hidden gu on the daily this has already given the three up in here, like one, two, three. Now getting a nice impulse down. So really, we can only sell it. Um, and we've been looking on the lower time frames for the direction. We've got that wave Z down now. Um, but there is no bullish divergence. So I'm just be wherever this wave here ends, I'd just be looking for a larger correction and then more downside. So, um, yeah, I was looking for another five up here. Uh, we had five up here, an A, B, C, A, B, C, and then we got, so we got one, two, three, one, two, three, and five down. That may have been the end of the uh, complex correction, and we get another, like, A, B, C. Now, it's difficult because, like I said, we don't have any bullish divergence in here, so I'd be expecting more downside. Um, what's happening on the M15? Like, for the buy, um, you really need a nice impulse up and a correction before you can buy. 
other than that, you'd just be um, waiting for that larger correction in here, like I mentioned, and then you'll be looking for downside. EU on the daily, again, like many of the others, um, I was looking for a C up in here. It never went. Um, and now we get like one, two, three down. So there still is chance that we get a C up in here. We had five up in here on the H4. We lost that bearish divergence. I was just looking for a larger correction before more upside. We may be going to get some more upside. This stage, it's still looking very much bearish down the low here. Um, so, yeah, you could look for a buy, but um, you, you'll have to be careful because we do have a bear hidden here. So if you're buying in here, you want to be careful, get it to break even at the break of this top here because it can just give you an A, B, C and fall over and break that low and that bear hidden plays out and then gives you, you know, more upside. So at this stage, it is rather risky. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this top here gets broken because we do have a bull hidden here. So, you know, again, if you're looking for the buy, if you get a buy set up, you really have to be at break even at the break of that top because it can just break this top and then fall over on you. Give you another one down. And you on the daily, like um, this one never gave the C up either. You know, I was looking for an A, B, C in here, and then the A, B, C. This C never went. Like all the rest of them, none of them went. So we are getting like three down in here. Now, I am looking for the buy. I did put a idea out on Trading View. if you follow me. Um, so this is the invalidation point, this low. I mean... It doesn't really matter. I've got this invalidation point just here because of, uh, you know, trading view idea. But even if this low does get broken, this low here get broken, um, you know, I'd still be looking for a C up as a running or expanding flat for an A, B, C as a running or expanding flat before we get more downside. So I'm looking for this C up. Just waiting on the lower time frames for an entry. Um, we're getting a. We got like a WXY in here. I'd be waiting for an X2 and a Z down. That Z down may or may not go and break this invalidation point here. Like I said, uh, uh, the invalidation point doesn't really mean much. Two people in my group because we know that a B wave can come down and break the starting point of this A wave over here. So um, either way, I'm, I'm I'm really only looking for buys. I'm just waiting for that uh, bullish setup. We we are getting bullish divergence on the H1 now. So any sort of bullish setup, I'll be looking to buy. Um, there's really not much um, on the M15 to buy yet. Um, but yeah, if you get a bullish setup, you definitely can look for it. Yeah. UI, we're just looking for buys up the top here. We got the five up on the daily. We got that W, X, Y, X2 and the Z up. Um, we're getting all that bearish divergence too, so it does become risky. Like many of the others, we're looking for the direction on the H4. Um, this, <laughs> I was looking for a flat here. We got the five up, and I was looking at an A, an A, B, C in here as your flat, and then you get an A, B, C. This never went up and broke the top. 
so then I was looking for uh like uh, this like A B C in here um and it started to look bullish here but never went and broke that top. So again, uh, you know, I'm only really looking for the cells. Like I've been mentioning, we're right at the top of the market. We got bearish divergence on the daily, and this is why I try and stay out of the buys because um they don't go, you know, and we just get a lot of mess up the top here. It's becoming quite difficult to get the sell. It's not giving any nice sell setups. And when it does, it doesn't give us an entry. Um, I did get a sell set up in here for that. Um, then I was looking for the buy here. It was looking very bullish. And then it fell over. So, again, it's still very much bullish. Um, as an expanding flat in here. And so we get an A, B, C, but, um, you know, really difficult to trade. At this stage, I'd be leaving it alone um, until we get something solid. Ideally, it does go and break the top now and gives us uh, a nice impulse down after it's broken the top, and that, that'll give us something to trade. You, why? is just looking for that A, all this is a B, and to get a C down. Um, again, like all the rest, we're just looking for the lower time frames to give us that direction. This one has given us an A, a B, and a C. It's very close to that 100 fib now, the target. So there was another entry in here we were looking at, um, and it's still looking rather bullish. Um, but again, we are getting bearish divergence on the H4. So it does become a lot riskier. But yeah, this is looking still bullish here up the top. Whether you want to take that, I, I, I would leave it alone. I'd be waiting for this top to be broken. And then a nice impulse down and something to sell. I'm looking for a sell. Looking for that daily C down. UCAD has finally taken off at the wrong time. I mean, we're looking at that WXY, X2, and I was looking for this Z to go up. Instead, it gave us this flat in here, this A, B, and we're getting a C up now. Um, like the rest, I've been looking at the H4 for direction. Um, and this is very difficult to trade, like I've mentioned many times. It was very choppy in here. It's up to the first target, that 100 fib, but yeah. It's still looking very much bullish. Um, I dare say you will get more, uh, more upside in this, um, because if we look at this, I'll be looking at this as a like a uh, an A B C here, and then we get an A B C as your flat. Then we get like a W X Y. I'd be waiting for that X two, and then wait, uh, and then trading that Z up. More than likely, we'll get a bull hidden in here, um, and something to trade to give us more upside. So really, I'm waiting for that correction confirmation that it's ball hidden and then I'll be looking to buy. Uh, the Swissy, um, this, like I mentioned last, I think I, last, I mentioned it last week, but we have broken this top here. So we do have a higher high here now. Waiting for a larger correction, an A, B, C. Waiting for that daily correction. Still looking very much bullish up the top here, though. It's getting very risky to buy. You know, we're getting a lot of bearish divergence. We had five up, an A, B, C, larger correction, and we're getting an A, B, C up in here. It's still looking very much bullish for another one up. Ideally, you know, we get another one up um, and then a nice impulse down and... 
we may get like five down in here as a larger correction before we get that A, B, C. So at this stage, it's really more bullish. Um, there's nothing there that I would trade because, again, we have all that bearish divergence. You know, um, there's nothing. And I wouldn't even look for the buy on the uh, H1. It's very risky because we have a bear hidden here. So, oh, sorry, that bear hidden's already played out. Um, yeah, that was that, that one down there. But, uh, yeah, um, yeah, be careful with the buys at this stage. EG's finally gone. Um, this is still looking very much bearish, so in here, there was a bullish setup during the week um, that I showed in, in the group. Um, but, yeah. If you miss that, well, um, you know, you know, we sort of got like one, two, three, one, two, three, and we may get three up in here or five. And I'll still be looking at it as all a correction before we get more downside. So I'm looking for a three, three, five. Uh, again, this was the buy in here that was looking for in the group. It fit our rules. So... Um, I'm not going to go into them, but this was it here. Um, WTI. Uh, we got like an A. Whether this is an A, B, and we get a C down in here, or this is all the B wave and we get a C up, like I mentioned last week, even if this does go and break that top, I'll still be looking at it as a B wave. And then we get an A, an A, B, C as your larger flat, and then you get an A, B, C. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, H4, we're looking for that time factor, like I mentioned last week. We're still waiting for that time factor before we look for the buy. And, um, yeah, then I'll be looking for that wave Z up at this stage. There isn't just waiting for that time factor. Gold. So on the daily, you know, we've got that W, X, Y. Wait for that X too, and then you can trade that wave Z up. That's the safest way. Um, on the H4, we got a, like a, a W, X, Y, looking at A, B, C here, possibly as an X2, and then we get a Z up. Um, yeah, I was looking. So we got like an A, B, C up, and I'll be looking for that A, B, C, filling in that time factor, and then... Um, I can look for buys. Other than that, I'll be leaving it alone. And silver is the same. Very similar. We got that, uh, like, W, X, Y. Waiting for that X2. And then look for that wave Z up. But on the lower time frames, we're still looking for an X2 on the H4. Very similar to gold. I'm waiting for this time factor. Once I get that time factor, well, then I can start to look for that wave Z up. Until then, I'll just be staying out. I don't really want to be buying at the top of the market. What's happening on Bitcoin? Oh, that's not meant to be. On this chart. So this one here, we're just waiting for that time factor as well on the daily. Like many of the others, we're looking at that W, X, Y, X2. We just about got that time factor there now. So you can start looking for buys. Um, we do have a ball hidden here too which is good. A 
so we have this ball hidden here. So we're looking for buys. We got the three down on the H4. Um, like I mentioned, you know, I've been mentioning, we got the five up, that last wave Z, we lost all the bearish divergence. I was just looking for a larger correction before we get more upside, and that's pretty much playing out. We got the one, two, three down in here now. Um, we're getting a bullish setup by the look of this. Um, it's not the I. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Um, yes, you definitely... If you trade Bitcoin, you wouldn't want to miss this. We got a nice impulse up, and this is looking very corrective. So, you know, I'd be looking for five up to go and break that H4 top. Uh, I'd be looking at the 161.8 extension for the wave five or wave Z, whichever way you look at it. So this is looking pretty good. Wait for your bullish setup, and, yeah. Um, S&P 500's finally fallen over, which is good. That's what we're after. We're looking at that WXY, X2, and that Z up. Ever since we got this Z up, we lost all the bearish divergence, like I've been mentioning. So I'm just looking for a larger correction. Larger correction than these over here. And then I'll be looking for more upside. Um, you know. Uh, we sort of got uh, like a W, X, Y. I'll be waiting for an X2 and then looking for a wave Z down. At this stage, I'd be looking for a bear hidden before I look for a sell and confirming that hidden divergence um, before I look for the sell. At this stage, I just, you have to wait. You have to wait for that correction. Um, there's nothing else to really do unless you're just scalping on the lower time frames. AU200. So this played out. We got that A, A, B, C for the flat. Then we get that A, B, C. Bounced off that 100 fib, our target. And now, um, this may even be a larger correction here. Um, like some sort of a flat here, A, B, C here, but uh, yeah, sort of more bearish on it than anything. The higher time frames, I'm looking for this C down, like this A, B, C down. So ideally, we do get more downside, um, but yeah, it does look like a little flat in there, a possible flat. It's already broken the top, so uh, it's probably not. But we got the five up, larger correction, and then it's gone up and broken the top again. So we do have a lot of that bearish divergence. You'd be looking at on the lower time frame, and you'd just be scalping into that larger correction. We got bullish divergence on the H1, so it's more of a buy, but yeah, I wouldn't be expecting it to go and break the top. It may, but, um, you know, at this stage, I'd, I mean, you'd probably be getting a bullish setup in here, but I'd just be looking for an A, B, C, and then possibly more downside. Um, but, yeah, definitely worth taking it if you're looking for it, and, you know, you never know, it may go and break that top, but I am looking for the larger correction, so, yeah. Uh, the FTSE. Very choppy. Uh, really got you, you, you know, I mean, we finally got it, like an A, B, and very choppy wave C up, you know. There's no bearish divergence here, so more likely a little bit more upside. And at this stage, you know, it is a buy, um, you know, on the H1. 
you'd be waiting for correction in here on the lower time frames and then looking for at least an A, B, C. If this looks very corrective and, and looks nice, you definitely could trade that very safely for an A, B, C. Lastly, onto the DAX. So we got that larger A, B, C with the A, B, C in the middle. Um, and then we got this larger move up after this wave Z. We got A, B, C. So now we didn't quite get up to that 100 fib, <laughs> but doesn't say we won't. Looking for that A, B, C. Didn't quite get to that 100 fib. We are getting a bull hidden here. So um, nothing to suggest that this isn't over. Um, if I check on the lower time frames, we may get a buy set up here. It's very risky. There's no bullish divergence in here. On the H1, so it is very risky, but um, yeah, and this is why it's very risky. We got a bear hidden on the M15 here, so you know, if you're looking to buy this, you have to be careful when it breaks the top because it may just be an A, B, C, just break that top and then fall over on you with that bear hidden. So, yeah, but if you get a nice correction in here. Um, you could look for that C up, get it to break even, and you never know, it may take off on you. Because all this does look rather corrective, you know. It does look rather corrective, and we do have that ball hidden, so, you know, it's possible that it does go up and break the top. I'm not going to go into the reasons why it probably won't, but, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the weekly outlook. If you did, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you out there next week.